Kenneth, is everything ready? It's all set, Professor. Okay, then. Roll camera. <clears throat> if one were to photograph the human body from an elevated plane, several distinct shadows would begin appearing. These are what's known as mind shadows. Within these shadows, there exists a universe far beyond the mortal plane. There is a type of energy called chi, which blows like a savage wind through that universe. The name that I have given to that wind is Bajra. This machine is the mandala. It was designed to extend one's mind shadows, thus rendering the Vajra infinite. It's done, Ken. Our work is finished. The mandala. Tanya, how do you feel? It's really very exciting, Gwen. It doesn't make you feel tired at all. The Vajra will soon be manifest within a life force of an as yet unknown power. Born to the continual creation and destruction of the universe. Today, the birth of that child has come. I give you Genocyber. Today, after nine days of heated debate, the armed summit for the developed nations has drawn to an end. The summit began amidst fears that recent troubles in Southeast Asia were coming to a head. These troubles, we are told, are now over, and all armies of their respective countries are to be disbanded. Furthermore, a statement was issued declaring that it is the intention of the summit to unite all existing military forces, creating one unified allied force. Fucking times do I have to explain it to you, huh? Huh? I think he's retarded. Why don't you talk a bit slow? Fuck off. I've already had enough. I really can't explain how upset I am at the way this relationship has gone. So let me show you! Looks like Rat has caught him at a really bad time. It's always a bad time when it comes to his cash. <laughs> I must have been fucking crazy to let you in on this. Now get lost! Fucking asswipe! Hey, why don't you go get some pussy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. In light of recent arms talks, our president has taken the initiative, calling for unilateral disarmament. There are talks of the new allied force being stationed in Earth orbit. Yes. Do you think it's realistic to hope for the nations of the world to lay down their arms in favor of a single united force? Well, it's very difficult to say. I mean, there are many private research groups who before now were supervised by government. However, 
Under the new Allied force, they'd be freelance, so to speak. Was the person killed an assistant professor at the Quran Institute? Chief, if so, was this attack work-related? Are you linking this incident with any other recent events at all? No comment. I've waited years for this. A chance to get close to Quran. Take the Quran group and their subsidiaries. Their research programs have been producing know-how that labels them a possible military threat. And we can't control or legislate know-how. That's some place they got a Quran. Thank you for that information. It would seem that disarmament, unilaterally, is still in the distant future. Heaven. God. War. Country. Excellent. This boy has shown a lot of promise. I want you to try him out on level three. Sir, right away. What do you want now? Professor, there's a policeman in reception to see you. He says his name is Davy and that you'll see him at short notice. Okay, fine. Show him up to my room and I'll be there as soon as I can. Inspector, I think it'd be a complete waste of time to start bringing up the past. After all, it was 13 years ago. Well, Professor, as a matter of fact, it's been 14 years since that Morgan incident. Incident? You're mistaken. It was an accident. I was there. I was a young man at the time. Safety precautions weren't quite so important then. It's too bad mm. it happened. That's not the reason I mentioned Morgan. The point is, if you're continuing his work, I can see another disaster looming. This time I'll stop it. I'm not sure that I quite understand, Inspector, why you're here at all. You should have already finished your investigation into Ho Lung's death. Who said anything about Ho Lung? I just came to say hello. But you'll be seeing me again. Until then, you better watch your step. Just leave me alone! Huh? Oh! 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 oh. oh. What are you doing, Diana? Uh. Uh. You fool. What did you think you'd gain coming here and interfering? I think it's time you left, Inspector Davy. Is that the collar that Elaine lost? Isn't it rather important for her to have it all the time? It helps control her Vajra, doesn't it? Losing Elaine's really bad news. Her absence makes life difficult. Without Elaine, my research is dead in the water. You know that, don't you? Yes. Diana, I have to find Elaine. It's very important to me. In order to find her quickly, I'm going to need your help. But father, I don't understand. Do you know what would happen if news of Elaine and you got out? We'd be finished. Yes, Father. It's just... I saved your worthless life. All these years I protected you, and still you won't listen to me. I'm sorry. I'll help you to find her. Oh, I'm sorry for arguing. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even exist. Maybe you should think about that occasionally. Elaine reads her name. She's gonna be our new job. What the fuck are we anyhow, janitors? 
Every time one of these guys messes up, they call us in to clear up. Stop complaining. She's supposed to have some pretty amazing parts, so be careful. Oh, have we ever let you down, huh? Right, we gotta bring the girl back alive anyway. That's what Tokyo says. At the very least, she has to be able to breathe, even if she does get a bit fucked up. Elaine is very calm and contented right now. I don't think I've ever seen her so stable. Very well. This will probably be our best chance to get her back. Father, what is it I'm here for? Am I just around for when Elaine gets out of hand and no one else can put her back in line? I Why? have made this machine for you, Diana. Now you are the only one who can control Elaine's Vajra. It's simple, Diana. You are here for Elaine. But Elaine doesn't know how to use her Vajra. If we upset her, she could lose control completely. And that puts both of us in great danger, Father. Ah! 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 Diana, you're going to have to change your attitude. I need both of you. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We found this tape at Holung's apartment. It was in his VCR. I think it's a recording of the security cameras on the outside walls of the Koran Institute. Can't see why the fuck he'd want his own copy for, though. I mean, it makes for a pretty fucking awful movie. It takes all kinds, Hold it son. There. I'll see if I can enhance the picture. I think this girl could become somewhat of a sensitive subject then at Koran. She looks just like. It can't be. No way! This looks more like a home movie than a security camera. Doesn't really figure, but go and see if he's got anything else like this at home. Sir, this girl's the center of something awful, I'm sure. We've got to act quickly. Right. I'll make arrangements to bring her in. What the fuck? Jesus! Good evening, and welcome to Newsnight. Our main story, a young girl believed to have been kidnapped, has turned up on a video belonging to a man who was recently murdered. One, two, three, four, five. Great work. Let me hear if you find out more. <laughs> sure. I haven't seen Shorty around. He okay? No. He was a waste of time, so I dumped him. He always seemed like a trier, though. Gotta give him that. Had to give him everything. Motherfucker never lifted a finger. He'll be bawling about it somewhere, man. I could have sworn I saw him earlier on today. Looks like he's got himself a girlfriend. Pretty little thing. Older than him as well. You're kidding. Nope. <laughs> you boys want to take a leaf out of that kid's book. <laughs> Rat, I can see you took my advice. Nice piece of ass, Rat. I'm impressed. Why are you with this loser? You're with the wrong man if you're looking for a good time. Fuck off. 
What's your name, sweetheart? Come on, honey, you can tell me your name. Say something, bitch! Girl's ugly as fuck, man, yeah. The boss said she was pretty. Maybe he'll find her something to do. But in the meantime... <laughs> on your feet, shithead! <laughs> Watch this, kid. You might learn a thing or two. Hey, do you reckon he's got the hots for her? I'll check! Small! <laughs> really, really, really small! <laughs> now, let me see here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, are you a virgin? <laughs> what the fuck are you, man? What the <laughs> Elaine, it's time to go home now. Hold back, Elaine. Hold back your Vajra. Let me protect you. Come home, please. Elaine! Where is she? I couldn't hold her up long enough. She dodged my shockwaves and broke through into another dimension. I lost her. What? Don't worry. She's got a boy from some gang with her. She'll be easy to find, but not so easy to catch. Told ya. Piece of cake. Good. Now let's move. What are you gonna do with the boy? One of ours? You never know with these Quorum research guys. These fucking freaks escape all the time. Katsu, what's wrong? Help me! Please God, help me! This bug's all over coming for me! Stop it, please! Can't stand it! Cool it! What bugs? Snap the fuck out of the tent so I don't see no bugs! They're eating my brain! <laughs> I go after her. Why are you protecting her from me? No, Diana. It's you that I'm protecting. Elaine's Vajra has exceeded my wildest dreams. If you go up against her now, you'll be killed. What do you want me to do then? I want you to use your Vajra to enter her consciousness. You can control her from there, and it'll be safer for everyone. What's wrong? I won't. Diana! It's not safer for everyone. It's safer for you. Elaine wouldn't hurt me because she's not angry. She's frightened. 
She's frightened of you. Just do as you're told. After all, Diana, you and Elaine were born to the same fate. And with either of you missing or being uncooperative, my research may never be complete. This is an inconvenience I could very well do without. Remember, Diana, both you and Elaine will become normal mortals once my research is over. Diana. I understand, Father. Doesn't she seem weird? I mean, she's not right. Who? Oh, the girl? Something I can't make out. I don't know what it is. Just strange. How the hell should I know if she's weird or not? You brought her in. And that other detective's been watching over her all night. It was 14 years ago. I discovered that Dr. Gwen Morgan was developing a strategic superweapon. He and his staff had researched psychic energy as a replacement for nuclear fusion. Once finished, this weapon system would alter forever the balance of power throughout the world. Their experiments were really successful, until for some unknown reason his center exploded. Dr. Morgan and his wife Tanya both died in the explosion, and both the weapon and the research records disappeared. Five years later, the man who was Dr. Morgan's assistant, Kenneth Reed, became head of the Kuran Institute of Science. Reed had new cash. As well as that, he also had the support of Ajiro Kuran, the man in charge there? They say Reed set the whole thing up. So this is Morgan's child then? That's right. Now, this should interest you. It's an old photograph, but you should... Tanya Morgan. Yep, she was pregnant at the time. You gotta be fucking kidding. She didn't die in the explosion. She survived and was able to stay alive long enough to give birth. So you mean to tell me that that girl is... The icing on the cake, as far as you're concerned. A month or so after our last meeting, my informant suffered a massive heart attack. He never reached the hospital, even though he was picked up by an ambulance. It turns out that after the birth, Tanya Morgan had kept the child hidden. And the woman Kenneth Reed has with him is her sister. I could use this girl to get to Kenneth and Ojuro Kuron. Finally, I can stop this madness. Go home now. Elaine, you know that we're better off living at the Curon building? Besides, Father is very worried about you. That man is not our father. What are you saying, Elaine? I'm saying he doesn't care about us. We'll both die if we go back. You're acting like a spoiled brat, Elaine. You know that isn't true. Diana, you are going to die! I'm going to die? I'm not coming back with you, Diana! What do you mean, I'm going to die? No, no, not now. <laughs> Fine. I won't bother with questions anymore. I've had enough of running around trying to save you from getting hurt. I hate you, Elaine. Diana, Diana, stop it! <laughs> I think it's time I put you out of my misery. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
last it has begun. I'm gonna tear you in two. <laughs> Down, please, young lady, you're coming with us. And if you don't, Wakanyama's gonna fuck up your little friend. He'll enjoy it. He's got convictions for this sort of thing. Hurry up, you fools! Get Diana and put her into the mandala before it's too late! What? What? Who the hell are you? Don't try anything funny, Professor. You could get yourself hurt. And then you wouldn't be able to answer our questions. And that really would be a shame. Yes, I'm Kenneth Reed. And who are you? Do you work for Kuron? For now, at least, you can think of us as representatives. You've been working without authority. And it all looks like it's gotten out of hand. Needless to say, the Kurung group are anxious to know what's happened. You're not all that important to us now, but Elaine is. So we're taking her back to Tokyo with us, Professor. I'm afraid that you can't do that. I can do what the fuck I want. She's dead. It's unfortunate, really. Diana was supposed to be able to control Elaine's Vajra. She couldn't. There was a fight. Elaine died. You're blaming this fucking mess on a kid? Your explanation's a bit too vague for my liking. Start again, and tell me why this happened. Diana was meant to bring Elaine back after she escaped. Since Diana was supposed to be able to control Elaine's Vajra, this was the natural thing to do. But Elaine lost control of her Vajra, and it grew. 
Its powers grew beyond my wildest dreams. Diana was completely overwhelmed by its strength. She killed Elaine because she could no longer control her. You see, it's all because of the Vajra. Both Elaine and Diana were born amidst a storm of Vajra energy, and complications with her births left Diana unable to use her muscles and Elaine with the nervous system of an animal. Elaine was different, though. As she grew, I discovered that she had many mind shadows. Diana found out. She read her mind while she was sleeping. This is what I think has caused it. She's too strong. Jesus, I've never heard anything so insane. After that, for a while at least, Diana could keep Elaine in control for me. But as Elaine grew, she developed a will of her own and was more effective when using her Vajra. With this discovery in mind, I created a new mandala. This machine was in line with Dr. Morgan's early theories. He'd only expected one child, but when the second was born, he hit upon the idea of fusing their powers. This would, of course, produce far stronger Vajra energy, far greater than he had originally hoped to create. Our resources were stretched at the time, so we needed some help with our funding, and that's why I brought you in. It looks like you were wrong, doesn't it? Yep, big mistake, Professor, but we're here to help you put it right. What should we do with this fucking brain box? We'll take him and Diana back to Tokyo with us. He's got some explaining to do as to why Elaine vanished from the face of the Earth. Diana. Why? Why did you have to kill Elaine? Why did you interfere? Look what's happened. You've ruined me. You've ruined everything. Why, Diana? Why couldn't you just do as you were told? Why didn't you listen to me? Is that? You can hear it, can't you? I think it's a boy, Tanya. No, it's a girl. Who's that? I feel like I know them. As if I'd met them. They're so close to me. So close. Kenneth, what's going on? Why are these people here? Father? In order to continue our research, we need more money. Kenneth! You brought in Kuran, you idiot! Who's inside me? What's happening? What in the name of God's going on here? I can't believe it! Kenneth wasn't our father, you should have said something, Elaine. I never understood what my purpose was, so I just did whatever Kenneth told me to do. So, I... I was only born to be a part of you. Why didn't they tell me? What now? What am I supposed to do now that I know my life isn't my own? Kenneth is all that I know. He's the one who loves me. I Your body is dead I now, know. Elaine. Oh. So stay out of mine. Let me keep my mind. What are you showing me this for? What's that boy got to do with it?
stay out of this. Leave me alone. I know that you want my mind, but you can't have it. Just stay away from me. I can't stand to be with you anymore. I want you to leave me in peace. You're already dead. I'm not going to be a vehicle for you, Elaine. This is my time now, Elaine. Do you understand that? I want to live. <laughs> Control tower. It looks like there's been a hell of an explosion down there. Is it safe to land? I don't know. You better carry on circling until we can tell you for sure. Roger. Keep me informed. This is unbelievable. It's out of control. People are losing their minds down here, and I don't blame them. What in the fuck's going on? I ain't never seen anything like this in my life. We'll never put this out. Sending you to hell.
I'm here, Ole. But I have to go now, Elaine. It was fun, though, wasn't it? Hmm? I've never had a friend like you before. You're the best. But we can't be together forever. I really miss you. You are my best friend. Goodbye, Elaine. It's okay, Diana. I'm still here. We're alive.
Gentlemen, let us begin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're very grateful that you were able to find time to see us. I wouldn't have asked at such short notice, but we're in dire need of your help. The country of Karain has opposed our plans for a United World Army ever since our proposal. You will, of course, be aware that they've already withdrawn from the United Nations. Soon after this, they began a campaign of indiscriminate aggression against their neighbors. Well, six hours ago, they invaded the Republic of Ult and dug in. Unfortunately for us, Karain is surrounded on three sides by a desert and on the fourth by the ocean. The desert rules out a ground offensive due to the effects that magnetic storms have on our radar and tracking systems. This leaves the ocean as our only way in. To add further to this catastrophe, two hours ago, three helicopters from the Ult military tried to break through the Karain harbor defenses. They were confronted by a strange superweapon which destroyed them. These pictures were taken by a spy satellite situated above the area. Upon consulting our military records, we can conclude that we have nothing like this. Worse still, we can say without any doubt that taking into account the ease with which this weapon disposed of the Elf helicopters, it has more firepower and better maneuverability than our newest plane, the F-30. With this in mind, we have agreed to send the aircraft carrier Alexandria to assist the Elf military in their defense efforts. If Alexandria is to be of any use to the Elf military, we are going to need support from Kuron. You're right. Sir, I don't understand. Who the hell are they anyway? They're here with a new secret weapon for us. It appears that the boys up top don't think we can kick ass without it. Funny, I was under the impression that the president wanted disarmament. <laughs> These guys look as if they're spoiling for a fight. Quiet. We don't have a choice. Just live with it, okay? These boxes are gonna have to come off fast. I've got a test in the morning, and I'd like an early start. Listen to some mother. Trying to land an aircraft here. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Looks to me as if you've sprained your wrist. Should be fine in a couple of days. Just rested for a while. Right, who's next up? Yes, we've all been touched by the hand of God. Our very existence is proof of that. We're fully committed to establishing a new world order in which peace prospers. There will, of course, be many hostile obstacles in our way, but I believe we have the determination to make it work. I believe that we can win, that people will see their hopes and aspirations for Don't you think he's been acting strange? I mean, uh, his vital signs just seem different. Nah, he's fine. He's just a bit nervous about tomorrow, that's all. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Greatest creation working. <clears throat> if one were to photograph the human body from an elevated plane, several distinct shadows would begin appearing. These are what's known as mind shadows. 
Within these shadows, there exists a universe far beyond the mortal plane. There is a type of energy called chi, which blows like a savage wind through that universe. The name that I have given to that wind is Vajra. This machine is the mandala. It was designed to extend one's mind shadows, thus rendering the Vajra infinite. It's done, Ken. Our work is finished. The mandala. Through my research, I've come to the conclusion that most military failings are down to human error. This means that no matter how perfect a super weapon is, it's still in the hands of a less than perfect operator. I believe the time has come for that operator to be improved. The Vajranoid. When the human body receives Vajra energy, it deteriorates, destroying itself. Dr. Morgan's research has shown this. So I've replaced it with a cyborg body. This allows the Vajranoid to fuse with whatever weapon it's operating and become a part of its workings, making it the most perfect weapon and operator ever created. Don't you think you're pushing him a little too hard, son? Just sit back and enjoy the fun. He's more than just a pilot. The most supreme warrior to be created. Dr. Morgan could not have imagined the power my Vajranoid has at his fingertips. Mr. Sakamitsu, we seem to have a real problem here. Sir, he's flying off course. This can't happen. Mr. Sakamitsu, what is this? Leave him alone. Sir, I don't understand. What is it? Captain, we're receiving an SOA. This is a UNN investigative team. We've been collecting data from Karai. We've been attacked and hit. I've got a wounded civilian aboard, and I need to land immediately. Repeat immediately. You've got permission to land on our deck. I'll have my men get a rescue unit to you when you touch down. Sir, it looks like they're gonna hit. The UNN plane is being pursued by the F-30. You stupid, ignorant, fucking piece of shit! Your monster could have killed those people in cold blood! Oh, how could you humiliate me like that out there? Pay attention! Listen to what I'm saying! You can't even move without that suit, you understand? You live because of me! Why did you disobey my orders? What kind of behavior is that, huh? I don't want any more of this! In future, you do as you're told. Huh? Attention. There is a foreign body on board this ship. What's this? Attention. We have been penetrated by a foreign body. We must seek and destroy. <laughs> Cut it out, you guys. You're not being fair. And stop staring. You're embarrassing her. <laughs> Is a cyborg body that unusual to see? I mean, I, I know she's got the body of a cyborg, but she can still lead a normal life. And if one of you lost a limb in battle, what do you think would happen? When that time comes, I won't give a fuck, but 
They don't look like anybody could lead a normal life with a body like that. Fucking A. Hey, Dr. Myra, you know I heard that the Caribbean army has turned all their prostitutes into a bunch of spies. I know it sounds crazy, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> How can you be so nasty to her? Assholes! Yeah. What the fuck you doing? <gasps> did, did you do that? Who are you? What's happening? They all died. I was playing on a beach, and then planes came and killed everyone. Everyone. You can talk. Didn't any of you guys hear her? She spoke to me. Didn't you hear her? All my friends. All dead. And more will die. You've really been through a lot, haven't you? It's okay now. There's absolutely nothing for you to worry about. I'm here now, and I'll protect you always. Hey, Laura, you're going too fast. Why don't you slow down a little? You can fall. And don't go too far, because if you get lost, we'd never be able to find you in this maze. Have you heard? Laura's supposed to have telepathic powers, sir. Yeah, but she only communicates with Dr. Myra. I think it's because Myra lost her own child. The kid was about the same age as Laura and looked very much like her. Really? Her name was also Laura. She went on a vacation alone and died in a tragic plane crash. Dr. Myra never really got over it. I suppose that's why she gave her child's name to this girl. Laura, I'd better go find her or she'll miss taking her medication. Dr. Myra. Oh, Father. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You look as if you might have lost something. <sighs> if it's Laura you've lost, I saw her playing on the deck. She's fine. Thank you, I thought she was lost. You have got to be joking. You don't have any right to go snooping around my research equipment. Mr. Sakamitsu, as the captain, I have the right to snoop wherever I choose in ensuring the safety of my crew and ship. This can be done by force, Mr. Sakamitsu. Oh. Laura! Laura, where are you? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack.
Hey, man, what the hell's got into him? Demons! You can stay if you want, but you'll die! Everyone will die! Getting any response from the lab? Shit! Let's get down there. <laughs> ah! What in the fuck? Sir, we got a very unusual energy source here. In the next stage of Genocyber, the cyber monster from an imaginary world. Laura has lost control. Surrounded by fear and death, she metamorphosizes into Genocyber, unleashing her deadly powers on the world once more. The aircraft carrier Alexandria becomes a battleground as the two cyber warriors square up. The second round between Genocyber and the Vajranoid. Could this be the end of civilization as we know it? Will there be a victor at all? Genocyber, stage three. Global War.
can't just stand around and do nothing. Just listen to it. Call the captain. I have to get in. We can get to the room via the ventilation shaft and cut a hole in the ceiling. Okay, do it. Mr. Sakomitsu, we're gonna have to talk about this. I wanna know what happened here. What was that? Was it human? Did you really think you could bring a monster onto my ship, huh? That pile of metallic cartilage has just killed two of my men. You've brought nothing but trouble since you got here. I want the truth, and now. I've told you everything. You're in deep shit. You'll remain in your quarters until I've decided what I'll do with you. So here you are. I've been looking all over for you, Dr. Myra. The captain finally saw fit to release me. Not that I have any place to go. Have you come here to pray, my son? What's on your mind? Father, I don't think God will be able to answer the questions I want to ask. Really? Questions about that kid. Leave Laura out of this. You and your ridiculous machines have put her through enough already. What do you mean? My work has been halted almost indefinitely because of what happened back there. There's no reason for it. He was perfect in virtually every way, yet out of the blue, he went into a rampage and destroyed himself. Yeah, so what? That's not Laura's fault. But doctor, aren't you forgetting something? Laura's the only person to come out of that room alive. The researcher that monitored the Vajranoid was killed. 
so too were the armed men above the room in a ventilation shaft. What happened in there, Laura? Why did you live? Was there someone else in there who saved you? Tell me, Laura! Tell me! Leave her alone, asshole! Remember where you are. This is the house of God. Let me go! Father, keep him away. Everything he touches turns out bad. He's a dangerous man. I'm telling you there's something strange about that girl's cyborg body. I have the right to know what it is. He's mad, an evil monster. Don't you worry, Laura. I won't let him anywhere near you, okay? I'll protect you. You're safe if you stay by my side. You've heard what? The men think that this mission is doomed because of all the unexplained incidents. Mm. I think it'd be an idea if we contacted the Admiral. You think we should change course? That's out of the question. But sir, after all this happened... Just think about it for a moment. With global disarmament being flavor of the month, the U.S. armed forces are having to withdraw from their bases in every country. To compensate for this, our aircraft carriers have been redesigned for use as advanced forward bases. These ships are now the front line in any battle, so for us to arrive late would be unacceptable. survived it all. H-E-L-P. Mm. The Vajranoid seems to have altered his molecular structure using energy from the higher plane. This Vajra energy kept his cells alive, allowing him to live on. Without the mind shadow, the cells would have perished. When his Vajranoid battle suit was destroyed, I was sure he had died. But it seems I was wrong. I see a large amount of Vajra energy in this arm. But this arm, what is this arm? The Vajranoid is alive? I don't believe it. I didn't believe it either. It's impossible. I don't understand. I thought that the Vajranoid could not survive without his battle suit. You yourself said that. I made a mistake. We all made a mistake. What exactly do you mean? I found proof that the Vajranoid is still alive. Or to be more precise, the proof has actually found its way to me. I'm sorry, but I don't understand, sir. Found its way to you? The Vajranoid has indicated to me that he has a hostile enemy on board this ship and has had to fight with this enemy. This enemy is still on board this ship and is very much alive. What? No. What is it? Another Vajranoid? No, it's a living being that has the power of Vajra. It's a lot different from our Vajranoid. It has a natural mind shadow, one that is far stronger than our research has shown our Vajranoid to possess. He tried to fuse with his opponent's central nervous system, but was destroyed. Ironically, in attempting to fuse, the Vajranoid survived in a portion of his opponent's body. You have proof? Of course I have. Will you show us? I'll show you, but first I'm going to need your complete commitment. What does that mean? Our tests on board this ship have been a complete failure. The Vajranoid just hasn't performed. And worse still, he's killed people. Could you face your bosses after so many failures? We've spent the ten best years of our lives on this project, and after this disaster, they're bound to cancel the whole thing. Is that the outcome that you guys want? Absolutely not, sir. You have our commitment, Mr. Sakamitsu. What is it you want us to do to help? Gentlemen, we have only one choice, and that is to deploy the Vajranoid into a battle situation so the world can bear witness to his powers. If it's going to be possible for me to do this, I'm going to need all the help I can get. So are you guys with me? Tell us your plan. I'm in. What do we have to do? Okay, I'm there. That seems to be the only option. 
I'm going to rebuild the Bajranoid. I'm going to do it using this, our first piece. <laughs> I can feel a storm coming. Father? What is it, my son? It's God. I thought you might like to know that I found God. And he answered every single question that I had to ask of him. You must come to the chapel and pray with the rest of us. Confess your sins and God will cleanse your soul, my son. <laughs> Gone. Sir, there's no logical reason for it, but we've lost control of the ship. Do you think it could be the storm? I really don't think it could be, sir. We've not only lost our electrical systems, our radar's gone haywire, and our communications are off. So as it stands, we're completely isolated. Inform all the other ships in the area of our condition by emergency beam. Then get some men to run dispatches between posts. We've got to be informed. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. No! What is this? Satan has come to claim the kingdom of the world. Captain!
They turned it into a monster. Hi there. I see you made it. Huh? How lovely. And as you can see, I made it too, Dr. Myra. Great, isn't it? You didn't die. Do you think I'm stupid enough to be killed by my own creation? My body has attained a new, higher level. You wouldn't believe how good it feels. I'm a new man. <laughs> my research has reached its apex, its ideal form. The Alexandria has gone far beyond being just a weapon. She has been born. The Vajra has brought her to life. The flesh and bones of the ship's crew have been assimilated into the consciousness of the Vajranoid, which means their minds and bodies still exist. In other words, they're all still alive. More importantly, they're ready to fight. In fact, they want to fight. And with the Vajranoid at the controls of the ship and its crew, they'll swarm on the Karain Harbor and crush everything that moves. In a matter of just minutes, absolutely everything will be destroyed. <laughs> Now then, ladies, this is the new state of being. Want to try it? You'll love it. Trust me. I don't care how good it feels. You're a monster. Just stay away from us. We don't want any part of it. Just leave us alone. on the ship for mommy. You have to save us. La huh? ah! 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 Laura. They'll all die. But we're gonna die with them, Laura. Don't worry, Myra. You're not going to die. Myra, you won't die. And nor will I. responded. What do you think it is? Jesus, what's that? What? A Holmes. Look at our Holmes. What's that? Up there, what? Well, what is it? Laura. She's come back for me. Look, she's an angel. 
Laura! Mommy's here! Come back! Take Mommy with you! Laura! I'm down! Laura! Come back to me! Don't leave me, Laura! I'm in hell, Laura! base, no possibility of survivors. Middle East base, 100% destruction. Just unbelievable. How did we come to this? For 100 years, we have fought you. A battle that will only end with humanity's destruction. Who the hell are you? I can't understand your existence. When did it happen? Who brought forth such a creature with the awesome powers of destruction you possess?
I don't believe in the god or devil that most people speak of. Can anyone but me have the power of creation? <laughs> Any and all reason and knowing is gone now beyond the present reality. However, as the unquestioned leader of the Kuryu group, no, as representative for all humanity, I shall send you a final challenger. Even if it takes hundreds and hundreds of years, you can be sure that it will keep fighting relentlessly against you. Until you are buried forever. There is no escape. Target moving. Arrival point 59,000 as predicted. City, city of progress and prosperity. Please obey the peace officers to receive your immigration papers. All passengers have 24 hours in which to file their identification papers. Violation of this regulation will result in prosecution. Welcome to Arc de Grand City, city of progress and prosperity. Hey, you two! Trying to sneak off, huh? What are you up to? Huh? Huh? Uh, Ryu, what's happening? Who is it? What's going on here? It's it's nothing, Mel. Don't worry. I can handle it, all right? Move along. I'm busy here. To all registered grade two laborers, it is requested that you increase your work by 25% so as to maximize productivity. If you are found to be exceeding your allotted labor entitlement, your work permit will be revoked. I repeat, to all registered grade 2 laborers, it is requested that you increase your work by 25% so as to maximize productivity. If you are found to be exceeding your allotted labor entitlement, your work permit will be revoked. I said you would be held responsible for putting the city in any danger. I've no use for incompetence. Radnek, you are now promoted. As of this moment, you are now the senior official of the Public Safety Office. Yes, sir! Your primary mandate is to have these rebels who threaten the city's order removed totally. Even the strongest of all fortresses can crumble to ruin from ants crawling in through the cracks. Smashing those ants is your new job, Radnek.
There will be no mercy shown for any lawbreakers whatsoever. Grind them down into nothingness. Kill them all. You must exterminate the vermin around you. Human beings are not insects. We are all the children of God, every one of us. We must not forget that mankind of old incurred God's wrath, destroying the entire world. Our parents prayed that we would keep the fear of God within us so that we would be morally sound and never sin against him ever again. But look at this city. People struggle, blood flows, and the weak are kept in poverty and servitude while the rich pursue their carnal pleasures. And now God's will is reawakening. Unless we cease our struggles and walk the paths of righteousness, his day of judgment will be visited upon us once again. The fires of hell will burn for seven days, consuming this city and all its depraved inhabitants. Within this holocaust, only those who allow God God's righteous heart to awaken within themselves will be spared his wrath. Only they will survive to rebuild the earth. I'd like to cure you, but I'm afraid I cannot. There are lots of skilled surgeons in Arc de Grand. You should be able to find help there. say it's red three and blue five. I think she has light brown hair and she's wearing a blue hat and carrying a mirror inside her red coat's pocket. Okay, now if you please, won't you show us? Exactly right. Oh. Not a single mistake. How could you know? Oh, it's true. I can see the person's form floating in my mind. Can you sense it from anything? As long as it's something precious to the person. Oh, it's still not enough. Please. It's okay, Ryu. But I promised I'd oh. get you cured. And you heard what the doctor said. Oh. Oh. We need a lot of money to get that operation. I can't help but hate the air in this damn city. I know. I don't like this place either. Just let me earn a little more money and then we'll go. I have a feeling the next journey is going to be a long one. I'm pleased to see public order is being maintained. My city appears to be the way I like it. Well done, Radnick. Yes, my pleasure. But I'm afraid we have a new threat growing in our midst. 
Are you aware that there is a group going around preaching absurd sermons and calling themselves the agents of God? Yes, sir. I have heard of them. But I don't believe they pose any real threat to us. It seems they have built a church in the lower levels and are taking care of the poorest children. Well, anyway, I like them less and less. I just don't trust them or their message. They're insects feeding off of my city. They're parasites, Radneck. Never forget that. Yes, sir. Forgive me, sir. They may lack political power. However, they embrace those who reject the city's laws. Don't you think so, Radnick? Yes, sir, as you say. The more we let their dangerous ideas spread, the greater their numbers will become. That is the way it is with insects like these. I want them obliterated completely. That is your duty. The Public Safety Office has the following request. Any crimes observed in the streets shall be reported to either civil authorities or the nearest peace officer team. Anyone found not fulfilling their civic duty faces loss of citizenship and confiscation of property. Citizens are asked to be brave and not to yield to the pressures crime puts on our society. Let's all help our peace officers. You'll really any pay way me we that can. much? Leave everything to me. Just do whatever I tell you to. Master, why did God burn the earth? Because man, with his blind ambition, forgot the existence of God. Gosh, Master, God must be really lonely. Not at all. He is angered when the devil takes up residence in the human heart. The devil makes man draw his brother's blood and keeps us eternally in poverty and servitude with the desire for earthly pleasures. And that's why, for when the devil returns to earth, God sleeps here, waiting to be reborn. How? How the hell did I get into this mess in the first place anyway? As you can see, even blindfolded, his knives fly true with every throw. And now, for a new target. <laughs> what the hell did you do to the target, buddy? Don't worry, it's still in the same place. Just aim for the center this time. Remember all the money you'll get. Don't miss. Mm. We, we have to leave. <gasps> but why, Ryu? What's the problem? What's oh. happened? Tell me. We can't stay in this city anymore. Everything's going wrong somehow. I've just killed a man tonight! <laughs> ah. Set me up from the start. 
Shit. Just so those fat cats can get a little excitement. But why did they... Because I'm a foreigner. Are you sure it was him? I hit him up for change. He must have ducked into the lower levels. Had a girl with him, too. <sighs> so, he's trying to hide down there, poor fool. In the whole history of Arc de Grand, no one's ever left the ruins alive. Just let them go. They'll wander around down there and kill themselves. Mm. I can't tell, but is something out there, Ryu? Oh, yeah. But we're not out of the woods yet. But I think they stopped chasing us. It's a very old city, isn't it? this place Just be glad you can't see this, Mel. We're in the middle of a charnel pit. I'm all too aware. I know I can feel it, Ryu. Horrible things were done here. Shit. I wonder if this is a dead end. But, Mel, I don't hear anyone calling. Uh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Who is calling me? Who are you?
am who I am, Diana. Genocyber, cyber monster from the imaginary world. Arctogran's piece is a piece of terror, a piece which is rotten beneath the surface. The blind girl Mel finally sees this, and now the time has come for the Earth-smashing angel to awaken. Genocyber takes its ultimate form and confronts its enemy in space. Super Cult Animation Genocyber Part 5, The Legend of Arctogran, Act 2. The final seal is now broken.
In the beginning, God burned the dead leaves of the earth. Into their ashes, he poured his own blood. And lo, the ashes hardened and became the first man. One hundred days later, a great storm raged and smashed the body apart. And next, God gathered together the flesh of the beasts of the earth, and to this added one of his own bones. And lo, it became the second man. And this new body rotted in the heat of the sun, and the earth it sank into became as wormwood. And so God burned the poison ground, and from it produced a new seed. And he stilled the motion of the earth, and fertilized the seed with his own heart. And we are that seed! Who's there? I know you're here. <laughs> Will you tell me your names? Mine's Mel. Sorry. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Rocco. They told me to bring you to the church when you woke up. I see. Know then that we are God's chosen. Never forget our mission to build the new world. Nothing can stop the righteous new order we've been promised. Pray for true peace and happiness for this city. Oh, you've awakened, my dear. God's messenger? Me? Of course. Before the end times, a messenger is sent by God as a warning. That messenger is you. Your falling into this room was proof enough of this. Now please tell me. What were God's words to you? Huh? God's words to me? Yes, that's right. You heard his voice and saw him with your very own two eyes. God's form. <gasps> Have you remembered, my dear? If that was God, then he was terrifying. It was all too frightening. So that thing, then that vile beast must be... Oh, my dear Lord! I... I don't understand. Oh, it may already be too late. Forgive us our corruption and guide us to the light of hope. the other one who was oh, with me. Oh. He must have been in the same place I was. What? We've always stayed together ever since we went down below. No, there was no one else with you. No, that can't be true. I swear. When Roko oh. came in here, oh. he found only you, unconscious. Oh. Ryu, where can you be? To all citizens of Arc de Grand, all participants in the Founders' Day Parade, please file your program schedule as soon as possible. 
in accordance with the special public safety precautions for the event all those within the city limits must carry registration cards in addition to their normal ID. What's with you people? Letting this happen with the parade so close? I want you to double all street patrols. Bring in anyone who looks the least bit suspicious. Those terrorists don't get a moment's peace from here on. Understand me? All those moving between South Area and North Area are to check in with peace officer teams. We request the cooperation and understanding of our citizens. Ah. Oh, how did... Oh, how did I end up over here anyway? You there! Come along Let me quietly! Go. Let me go! Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Out of my way! Sorry to trouble you with this, Chief. Forget it. It's part of the job. Can you get up? Huh? Hey, you! Huh? Oh, Mel! Hey, what's wrong? Mel! You have to find Mel! She's down in the lower sectors! Please hurry! We can't be late! Uh-huh! Hey, what's the damn problem over here? <laughs> huh? Hey, you! Ah. When good luck comes, it comes in a flood. Who would have thought you would survive down there? Chief, you'd better take a look at what we found on this guy. It's the same as the detonator used in the bombing yesterday. Oh, yeah, I see that. I think you're mixed up with the rebels, too, aren't you? You poor unlucky son of a bitch. Huh? If you just stayed underground, we never would have found you. Oh, I... I don't know. I don't know anything about them! Is it you again? Diana? Now you're it! Try and catch me! Big sister, try and catch me! <gasps> Diana, wait! Why did you call to me, Diana? Why did you bring me here anyway? Oh, big sister! You don't like me? You don't like to play with me? Huh? <gasps> no. It's just that there's someone very special to me. I can't stand worrying about where he might be. Life is so unfair sometimes. Oh, oh, Diana, try to understand. Hey, get up. Uh, uh, uh. So, you remember me. I'll bet you were one of their men. I'll teach you to screw around with me. I'll take my compensation out of your hide. Huh? Mel! What's going on? Where? I got a monster! Oh no, some sort of statue. Anyway, I better get her to a doctor. Huh? Who are... Who are you? Where are you taking me? What? To the center of the city? Do you live up on the surface? I'm not from around here. 
I come from a town a lot smaller than this place. I just came to get her sight back. We were going to leave after that. Hey! Where'd you go? Is that the light from the surface? It's so bright. Forget it. There's just no reaction at all now. He's alive, but just barely. Yes, oh well. At least we got what we wanted from him. Just you wait. You won't be lonely. I'll bring your girl and your friends up here to you. The church is the rebel's base? Exactly. And I think the girl with him is hiding there too. The slums could become their main base unless we move fast. Radnack, don't you agree it would be wise to strike the rebel base as soon as possible? All right then, don't tell the mayor. I'll take full responsibility for this. We're about to raid the underground church. We'll take out those rebels with one shot! Isn't that a lovely smell? There were lots of these flowers in my hometown. I miss them so much. Oh, but Miss Mel, don't you come from heaven or something like that? Oh, is that what they told you? Well, it certainly is not the truth. I really come from... <gasps> Miss Mel! Oh, Miss Mel, what's wrong? Ah! Ah! Somebody help! Somebody help, Miss Mel! Somebody help! If I could just hide it a little longer. Miss Mel! Huh? Miss Mel, has the Lord spoken to you again? Stay out, please! Huh? Keep away! Miss Mel! Get the hell out! Leave me alone, understand? Huh? Tell me, Miss Mel, has the Lord been angered now? I'm not God's messenger! I can't take this anymore! Leave me alone! <laughs> I fear she's become possessed by the devil. Listen up, slum rats! You are to vacate this area immediately to make room for a refugee camp. Anyone who resists us will be removed forcibly. Are you kidding? This is nuts! Are you serious? And something else. You have a girl here with strange powers, don't you? Hand her over to me. What's he talking about? Yes, I see. You're the ones. Oh, you're devils. The ones who have poisoned our lives and possessed Miss Mel. Defiled beasts, this is a holy congregation. No place for the likes of you. You damned accursed demons, be gone! Wait! Miss Mel, stay back. Oh, Miss Mel! Well, well. What have we here? So tell me, you're that guy's girlfriend? Uh, 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 Ryu, you're talking about my boyfriend Ryu, aren't you? Tell me where he is. If you know where he is, then take me to him. Oh, very well. Join him now. 
Your man is waiting for you in hell! <gasps> oh, 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 Lord! Miss Mel! God! Deliver us! Beloved citizens of Arctic Grand City, I am your mayor, the Honorable Grimson Rockwell. Today we celebrate the 50th anniversary of our city's founding. And as its mayor, I wish to thank all of you who love and work to build this metropolis. It began as a seed sown in the earth of the ruins of humanity's history. The great founders of this city set out to let civilization grow again, not knowing if the same mistakes would be repeated once more. But their wishes have borne fruit, and their seed has grown into a magnificent blossom. Thank you. Thank you all. And finally, my friends, you labor for this city. You myriad exalted souls who made it possible. Give a prayer of thanks and appreciation for our fair city. Give glory to Ark to Grand, our fair city. turn into that monster again, aren't you? Don't you understand? Our power has no... Our power has no place in this whole world. Diana? Hmm? <gasps> Big sister! Diana, am I dead? The life of the child I carry inside me will never be born alive. Oh, no, big sister! This evil city, I want this city destroyed.
Shiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. I, Janichiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. Diana! I, Janichiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. I, Janichiro Kuryu, leader of the Kuryu, if you this order.